down, led by Ed Flanagan, the rookie from Purdue. Barr is the flanker wide to the left this time. Cogdy lifts it out a little bit to the right. Blum looking over the defense, fakes once, fakes twice, drops straight back in the hole, looks for somebody, he's going for the long ball. Got Terry Barr down there, and Terry's got it! Touchdown! Long ball to Terry Barr, Terry picks it off at the The point. Detroit area is full of sports fanatics. Football, pro and college, baseball, basketball, hockey, you name it. But there are also a lot of people here who like a very different kind of entertainment. And WJR supplies that too. Here is Carl Haas, the station's director of fine arts and a member of the president's cultural advisory commission. If any proof is needed that rhythm is the most important ingredient in music, then what you just heard was that proof. It was the beginning of the violin concerto by Cacciaturian, a composer who is particularly known for his predominance of rhythm. I'd like to illustrate on the piano that very element that you just heard in the violin concerto. There is rhythm above all, unless you count this a melody. It would be mighty monotonous to have this continue throughout the piece, the toccata for piano by Cacciaturian. But listen to it. In its finished form, listen to how Cacciaturian clothes this skeleton of rhythm with a melody which is derived from the very rhythm that he so eminently displays. appears as a recitalist and lecturer. Here he is during a benefit for the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. The anatomy of a bestseller. What is it? This is the Focus Show. Every day, Lee Murray, our women's editor, and Jimmy Lance interview the famous and the merely interesting. On location or in the studio, they focus in on a variety of people. <laughs> she became angrier and angrier and fathered and said, I have heard that people who work in book departments are queer. And they also have their idiot and crassies. <laughs> yes. Doctors, uh, authors, uh, artists, uh, lawyers, uh, even uh, Indian uh, chiefs. Uh, Lee and Jimmy meet them all. Day after day, they talk to people in the news. From Haley Mills to Detroit's Mayor Kavanaugh. <laughs> you said human values, Mayor Kavanaugh. You have eight children and probably one of the busiest jobs in this country. How do you maintain a good family relationship? Well, it isn't an easy thing to do. Uh, I don't have any advice, I suppose, to give to anyone in the raising of eight uh, children because I think, um, you know, you, it's by accident that you almost get them raised uh, and the help of uh, God, really. Uh, I've learned to stay out of the way in the morning when those eight <laughs> get up. Uh, but I think the big thing is to try and devote at least part of your, uh, of your week, uh, maybe one day a week, this is generally what I try to do, set aside for uh, these young children. 
and particularly in a job that like this because of the publicity that's attached to it and so on it makes it more difficult to maintain that close relationship and you have to work just a little harder at it and um, so far I think we're succeeding I'm sure you are we WJR is respected for the thoroughness, the completeness of its news reporting. Is that anything new on the defense bill? No. I've got a tape here from Jerry Ford, but I haven't been able yet to reach Senator Hart. I know. The Senate's adjourned. Try and pat McNamara at his home. We've got to have something from both sides before 5 o'clock. Get both sides. That's the essence of WJR reporting. But its news philosophy goes much further than the political or the police beat. Brent, how did the market act yesterday? Well, Dave, yesterday was a pretty good day in the market. Here's a WJR reporter digging for facts for the daily program Business Barometer. Over $2. Now, 7 million shares is a pretty nice volume. And the thing that really looked nice about it was the broad participation by various industry groups. Complete news coverage also means keeping rural listeners informed daily. That's the job of Marshall Wells, WJR's flying farm editor, who uses his plane in order to interview farmers, county agents, and farm authorities all over Michigan, northern Ohio, and northern Indiana. Special news includes complete coverage of such important events as the Mackinac Yacht Race on Lake Huron. We're over the fleet right now, and we're going down to spot some of the early leaders. The yachts are pretty well spaced out, and it appears that Apache is in the lead. Halfway around the world from the yachtsman, here's another example of news in depth. Our news director, Frank Tomlinson, in Vietnam. Last year, I spent five weeks in Vietnam, much of it with Michigan's Governor George Romney. I reported back daily to WJR listeners the travels of the governor as he met with brass, talked to Michigan GIs, and charmed the children of Vietnam.